And new at noon, a court hearing happening today for the teens accused in the gruesome machete murder of another teen in Homestead. Today, a judge ruling if they could face the death penalty if convicted. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Motohong was in court today and she joins us live from Miami. Leanne. And Janice, this is a case that certainly shocked South Florida because of just how gruesome it was. And today we did learn that now four out of the five defendants will not face the death penalty if convicted. Let's take you into the courtroom here and we can tell you that prosecutors said in court today that they will not seek the death penalty for 24 year old Joseph Cabrera, 20 year old Desiree Strickland, who was not in court today, 19 year old Jonathan Lucas and 20 year old Christian Colon. They will face life in prison if they're convicted of first degree murder. The only one who could still be executed if convicted is Kahim Arbello, who is believed to be the one who essentially killed, dealt those deadly blows with a machete to that teenage victim. We did speak with the attorneys representing Desiree Strickland as well as Christian Colon. They understandably are very pleased with the decision. They're all very young and mature. It's a very unusual case. The evidence is questionable as to Ms. Strickland. Based on, on these children's ages, I think that they did exactly the right thing in this matter. Now, this shocking case happened in 2015, the summer of 2015, and the victim is 17-year-old Jose Amaya Guardado. His body was found in a shallow grave in a field not far, right across the street from the Homestead Job Corps, where all of these uh, teenagers at the time were students. Now, we do know that as part of the details of this crime, Desiree Strickland, one of the defendants, allegedly uh, had sex with Mr. Arbello shortly after this murder was allegedly committed. We do know that uh, there are videotapes of Desiree Strickland giving her uh, account of what happened uh, to detectives. There are obviously some other um, documents that are at play here as part of the investigation details of confessions not only for her but for other defendants and those are now uh sort of held up in the court system as media entities including local 10 are suing to get those released to the public so right now we do know four out of those five defendants will not face the death penalty if convicted the only one that could potentially be executed if convicted is kahim arbello who was believed to be the orchestrator, the ringleader behind this gruesome attack. Reporting live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.